Hey guys, this is Experimental here, and this is kind of a video that's a little bit different than usual. I do do some HUD stuff, but all the time it's pack openings, things like that. So today I'm gonna show you how to make, you know, uh, pucks. Now this method, um, it's really recommended unless you have, let's say, 5,000 pucks is where I would recommend for you to start using this method just because with every player you get it's only going to give you a fairly small amount of pucks so the more players you can buy the bigger the possible you know outcome of pucks you can get get so that's just a note you should take when you're about to do this method at least have 5,000 pucks is what I recommend to start this method although it's affordable for everyone it's just it takes a long time if it takes a long time to really start making a lot of pucks um, if you, it's it takes a long time to make a lot of pucks with this method if you have a small amount of pucks, which is kind of weird. But you can still make pucks for anyone. So this is kind of an affordable method for most people. Now my method, all people use is kind of buy the hut live, you know, cheap around the six thousand range. So yeah, but that can be really risky if you don't know how to do it correctly and you need a pretty good amount of pucks to do it so what I'm doing is a lot cheaper but takes a lot more time to make your pucks but it is less risk so it's kinda meets in the middle so anyway let's get down to the method so basically what you wanna what you're gonna wanna search for is league and NHL level is gold cause um you'll see that in a minute and maximum price for the starting bid should be 600 okay once this loads so uh... wow this is kinda weird right here okay hold on uh... was it 650 hmm Okay, so, okay, for someone like, um, Emelyn, it's not going to work because his quick sell is, I think, around 613 puck, pucks. So, the most you would ever want to spend on a player 84 and below, that's a gold player, is 600 pucks if you're using this method. 85 and above, they sell for more than 650, so that's just a big note you should take. And the reason you shouldn't buy these kind of coded uh, gold players, like, you know, the ones that aren't like this compared to this is because you usually, because these sell for, I, I think, 306 pucks. So you're going to be losing pucks unless the starting bid's like 220 seconds left. So that's something big you have to take into factor. But um, players like Brooks, like, he's an 85 overall, so... If you bid um, 650, I'm gonna make pucks if no one else bids on it because he sells for over he his quick sells for over 650 pucks, so you're only gonna be making profit. And for someone like Jordan Le Leopold, you only want to spend 600 at the max because his quick sell is on above 650, so it's a big note to take. Uh, Jake Allen, since he is a gold, this kind of gold coated. Player, he's gonna sell for over 600 quick sell for over 600 pucks, but not 650. So it's basically um, the method you should do. It's basically my method of making quick pucks on the go. Uh, no, huh? Mm, this usually, will kind of work on the weekend when people you know have more time to open packs, things like that. I know it's not gonna work as I'm doing this late at night, so. Anyway, so that's kind of a quick way to make your pucks. If, cause usually for me, I don't, I don't know why right now, but usually there's a lot more um, players out that are this kind of coded gold player. So um, I don't know what's happening right now, but um, usually on the weekend it does work a lot. There's a lot of players, and if you can really snag up those players quickly. It can be a, you can make a good profit. I think a few k, 
And you know, it really only takes maybe five minutes to collect all the amount of players with your pucks. So you can definitely make a good amount of pucks if you use this method correctly. And yeah, uh, Andrew Ference, no. Mark Savard, no. Adam Henrik's only going to quick sell for, uh, I believe, 613 pucks. So I would be losing pucks if I made a 650 puck bid. So anyways, let's go back and I'll show you what I mean if the players have expired. Okay, so J I bought Brooks like for 650 pucks, Jake Allen for 600, and this Vincent LeCavalier, um, the bidding's not done anyway, so I'll, I'll show you what I mean by how I made pucks. So I bought him for 650 pucks, now look what I can quick sell him for, 682, that's an automatic 32 puck profit, it may not be a lot, but if you were to do this with I would say maybe 20 players, that's what, 640 pucks, and it maybe took you five minutes to find that and say you do this for an hour that's like 3200 pucks around that range so it can definitely be good if you take your time with it now Jake Allen bomb for 600 pucks he quick sells for 613 that's another 13k profit so see what I mean if you keep on doing this for a long time you will make a good amount of pucks and this is I would say very good for beginners who are just starting hut so anyways that was the video for how to make pucks or how I have started to make pucks so hopefully this helped you and um, remember leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you have not already bye